Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up our Raspberry Pi to read our MFRC Pi 22 card read. So I have here my Raspberry Pi and my MFRC Pi 22 card reader together with some RFID tags and then we'll check if we are able to read and write to this RFID tag. To do that, let's head over to our program. And then let's start by writing some items information first into our RFID tag. To do that, let's run Python 3 and then the write MFRC py22.py and then we'll have to input some batch number, which is a sequence of letters. So say for example, we type in AA, DB, CC, and DD. And then we'll have to place this RFID tag card near the card reader. So let's try that. So as you can see, the message says that the text AABB is written into the RFID tag card. So let's verify by reading the same RFID card. To do that, let's execute Python 3 and then the read mfrc 522py And then using the, the same RFID tag card, let's put it near the MFRC Pi 22 card reader and verify the information. So as you could see, the information is being read continuously by our MFRC 522 card reader. And that's how we're going to execute the reading and the writing of our card, RFID tag card using this MFRC 522 card reader. If you'd like to know how I did this, then let's start exploring. So, let's discuss first the how the RFID works with the Raspberry Pi. So, this is the image of our RFID system. I have here my Raspberry Pi, which is powering my MFRC card reader and some RFID tags cards in here also. The card reader has a radio frequency module and an antenna that generates an electromagnetic field. The RFID tags could either be an active or a passive card. So the difference is that an active card contains batteries while passive cards does not contain any batteries. Uh, when the RFID tag cards gets in the range of the RFID card reader MFRC522, then the microchip inside the, the RFID tag cards is activated. Then that forces it to send back a signal into our MFRC522 MFRC card reader. Then the MFRC522 card reader communicates with our Raspberry Pi so that it would get the information that was being read by the MFRC522 card reader. For the wiring and the schematic diagram, we'll just have to follow this table here. We will just need 7 pins from the MFRC522 card reader which in this case, in the table, is basically physical pins, so they are not the BCM numbering. So when you follow this table, take note that it should be in the physical pin numbering. And then the next thing that we would need to do is to enable the SPI in our Raspberry Pi. To do that, connect to your Raspberry Pi through SSH using FUTI or any command prompt. Login using your credential. Oops. 
once you are into your Raspberry Pi, let's just execute the sudo raspconfig. And then in the interface options, click the SPI interface. And then click yes if you would like to enable the inter interface. And then if you get this message, then it is now enabled. And we click the finish. And then we execute sudo and then reboot your Raspberry Pi. After enabling the Raspberry Pi interface, then you now can communicate with the Raspberry Pi using the library that I have uh, found out in the PyP, Python PyP package repository. So the write-up for this project is in the description of this video. So uh, there are some informations there that I have written if you want to check out. The code it's in my GitHub repository, so if you would like to take a look also, then you could check it out. And that's it.